Hey, it's Mike. Wanted to do a quick video. I'm doing a kind of an unusual project, but it's a wood dresser for my grandson, one of my grandsons. And my daughter bought this dresser. It's an older dresser, and I wanted to share with you how to uh, how to paint this wood and make it last. Because you can put a lot of automotive paint on wood, but if you don't do the right steps and use the right paint, uh, it's not going to hold up. It's not going to last. It's not going to stay on. So I just wanted to share with you real quick what I done. I didn't get to videotape the uh, actual sanding of the dresser, but you can figure it out. It's wood. So basically what I've done is I, I sanded down, clear down to the uh, the original wood. I used, uh, I actually used 180, then I finished up with 220, and then uh, cleaned it real good, and then uh, used an epoxy primer. Now I'm going to share with you the line of paint that I'm using to to get this, uh, get this to stay. And what it is, it's essential. It's essential, it's, it's PPG, but it's Del Fleet essential. Now what you're gonna to wanna to use is, and the secret to it is get this epoxy primer on there. <clears throat> so what this is, is ESU 430. It's an epoxy primer. And this is a one-to-one. -one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use uh, an activator with it. Now here's gonna be your hardener. Epoxy primer hardener. ESU 439. Again, these are one to one, so you're going to mix them equal parts. All right, that's an epoxy primer. You're going to put that on, you're going to let it dry in between coats, of course, probably 15 minutes or so. In between coats, coating on your uh, on your temperature. I've got 70 degrees in here, so it, it dried pretty quick. And then let it, <coughs> excuse me, let it dry real good. Uh, then you can follow right in with your your uh, red your red paint. In this case, we're using red. You can use whatever color, but what I'm doing is I'm going to make this dresser look like a snap-on toolbox. So on the front of the drawers, I'm going to do diamond plate. So I'm going to use like I'm going to lay down like a silver, and then do diamond plate. I'll do a video all the way through, uh, show you how to how, exactly how to do that. Uh, but here's uh, here's the line of paint that I'm going to use, or that I am using. So it's uh, it's the same thing, Del Fleet Essential. This is the ESSS. This is a candy apple red. This is the actual snap-on uh, red, which is candy apple red. All right. And then you're going to use, uh, now th this is a six one-to-one. -one. So what you're going to do is you're going to, let me get this camera turned here, my phone. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this uh, paint, this red paint. You're going to use six parts. Then you're going to use one part of ESX 500 activator. Then you're also going to use one part of ESS ESH 200 hardener. This is single stage paint, so I don't have to have clear. Uh, this is the same stuff I use on on uh, boats. This is a polyurethane. So again, you're going to use six parts of the color, one part of the hardener and one part of the activator. Now in the activator I'm using fast because it's you know, it's winter time here. Today it's like 40, I don't know, 45 degrees, but I want it to dry quicker, it's a small project, so uh, that way the uh, the cold weather tonight won't affect it because it'll be pretty much dry by then. But that's kind of what you're gonna do. Use a mixing cup, uh, and on the mixing cup it's gonna have six one-to-one. -one. Follow that to the T. Of course, use screens always. And then you just put it in your favorite gun uh, to do. So let's go in here and take a look. I'm not going to walk all the way in there because it's still pretty tacky. Don't want to get dust in it. But there it is. It's uh, it's an older dresser, kind of an antique that my daughter had found. So for these twin boys, I'm doing this one. That's going to be. It's going to look like a snap-on toolbox. He's kind of a gearhead, kind of into the mechanical stuff, the hot rods and cars and trucks. So I'm doing that for him, and then for the other boy, I'm going to do a, uh, he's into sports, so I'm going to do a dresser that's got like ball bats and, and basketballs and stuff like that. So it's kind of personalizing it, but I just wanted to share these techniques with you, how I've been able to get this stuff to work on wood and make it last, make it stay on there. Because a lot of stuff you put on wood, automotive paints, things like that, if it's not prepped right, and of course the base being the epoxy primer, if it's not laid on, or you're not using the right stuff, it's not going to stay. It's going to peel off and chip, uh, what have you. But this stuff's tough. It'll stay on there. So I just want to share it with you. Now in the next video, I'm going to do uh, the diamond plate. So I'm going to lay down the diamond plate, show you exactly step by step 
what to do, how to do it, and uh, we'll have some fun. All right, I'll see you in the next video.